a KQED HD production. I'm Lauren Summer with Quest, and today we're at the Lindsay Wildlife Museum in Walnut Creek, where they rehabilitate sick and injured animals found right in our backyards. Hi, Jason. Well, hey, Lauren, how so, you doing? I see you have a fox here. What kind of fox is this? Well, this is a North American gray fox, and uh, he came to us from the Concord Naval Weapons Station. Unfortunately, he was injured out in the wild, but he's doing really good here at the museum. So this isn't a fox that I've seen in the Bay Area. Is this something we can find around here? Uh, absolutely. Foxes are, are found all around the North American continent. And uh, they are found quite a bit around the Diablo Valley area, although they do prefer areas that are a little bit more wooded and uh, areas with a lot more shrubs, areas that are a little bit more secretive. Gray foxes are a member of the Dong family, but one of the most amazing things is that they can actually climb trees. Uh, they're the only um, member of the dog family and of the fox family uh, that can climb trees. And if you take a look at his nails here and his claws, uh, they actually retract and they're curved just like a cat's nails. He does have a lot of arthritis. Uh, that's why this exercise is so important for him, uh, so that physically and mentally, he has challenges in his life. So these guys live around people in Northern California. What kind of pressures are they facing? Well, one of the biggest things that the native gray fox is facing is the potential threat from the introduced red fox for food, for habitats, and human encroachment. That's a real threat uh, to their numbers as well. So is the gray fox something people can see if they come to the Lindsay? Absolutely more than welcome to come through and uh, check him out and learn not only more about him, but also about how we can take care of foxes out in the wild as well.